For the last example, find the values of x, y, and z. Here you have three lines. Now, these three lines are going to be parallel. I'm going to make them parallel so I can solve for these values. Now, the only angle that's given is right here, 118. So, if you look at this, now again, we have four lines involved, right? And to form angle relationships, special angle relationships, um, you only need three lines. You need the transversal and the two lines that it intersects, right? To form those um, pairs of, of angles. So, whichever lines you're um, using, Always keep that in mind and then um, look at what, what lines you're not going to use and ignore that line, okay? Since we have four and we only need three. So using this angle right here, 118, I can say that um, now this one right here and 11z plus 8 are corresponding, okay? And then this one right here, and this one right here are alternate exterior angles because it's involving these three lines and not this one right here, right? So this would be alternate exterior angles. Or um, if I ignore this middle line and I just say that this transversal with this line and this line, okay, again, ignoring the middle line, pretend it's not there, then 118, this angle right here, with X would be alternate exterior angles, okay? So imagine if you have a line, line, here's a transversal, okay, the middle line's not there. This is X and then this is 118. So you see that it's alternate exterior angles. So then I can say that X is equal to 118, right? Because the lines are parallel and um, I, so then I can apply the alternate exterior angles theorem, saying that they're those, that relationship, that pair is congruent. Um, the next one, let's look at z. So this one right here, 11z plus 8, is going to equal 118. Why? Because um, if I look at this line, oops, this line with this line, and this transversal, they're going to be corresponding angles. And then since the lines are parallel, corresponding postulate says that they're congruent. So 11z plus 8 equals 118. So if you subtract the 8, 11z equals 110. z equals 10. There's my x, there's my z, and then I have to find y now. So for my y, um, I can say that this um, angle with 118, they're not congruent, remember, because they're going to form a linear pair, right? They're going to, um, they form a line, so they're going to be supplementary. You can also um, note that this is, this angle is 118, remember, because we said that they're corresponding, this one with this one. So since this is 118, this angle with this angle um, would be consecutive interior angles. And if the lines are parallel, then the theorem says that they're supplementary, they're not congruent. So either way, 3y plus 2 equal, or not 180, you have to say that this whole thing plus the 118 is going to equal 180, okay? So 3y plus 2 equals 62, okay? And then if you subtract the 2, then 3y is going to equal 60, y is going to equal 20. Okay, so x is 118, y is 20, and z is 10. Okay, just remember to keep looking for those relationships between the pairs. You can also definitely use the um, 
linear pair okay that if they're supplementary you can definitely use that if they're vertical definitely use that because you know that vertical angles are congruent okay so um, any of those things you have a lot of um, different concepts that you learn that that'll help you um, solve these types of problems okay so that's it for this lesson thank you for watching educator.com